threatened the giant Chinese balloon that had been floating across parts of the United States has been shot down by an American fighter jet. At 2.39 in the afternoon, a single air-to-air -air missile fired from one of two American F-22 fighter jets. This unparalleled fighter jet, heralded as the pinnacle of aviation technology, emerged in 1997 and has remained unrivaled ever since. It wasn't until 2023 that the F-22 Raptor saw its first air-to-air -air combat, effortlessly downing a Chinese spy balloon off the South Carolina coast without a scratch. The U.S. government's staunch refusal to sell this aircraft to any other nation, including its closest allies, underscores its exceptional capabilities. The F-22 Raptor epitomizes agility and stealth, boasting maneuverability akin to a supercharged F-117 Nighthawk while incorporating cutting-edge thrust vectoring technology for enhanced stealth capabilities. Despite the advanced features of the F-35, the ban on exporting the F-22 persists, hinting at a deeper rationale beyond surface comparisons. At the core of the F-22's superiority lie three key elements, speed and maneuverability, stealth, and advanced avionics. Its ability to supercruise, sustain supersonic speeds without afterburners, revolutionized aerial combat, enabling extended periods of high-speed flight without compromising stealth. This feat was made possible by the formidable Pratt and Whitney F-119 engines each capable of delivering 35,000 pounds of thrust, setting a new standard in aviation in addition to sheer power. Each engine of the Raptor boasts a nozzle equipped for thrust vectoring. Initially conceived for vertical takeoff and landing VTOL, thrust vectoring found its roots in the British Harrier, allowing for vertical ascent by directing thrust downward. However, the Harrier's application of thrust vectoring didn't extend to influencing aerial maneuverability. It wasn't until the 1990s that thrust vectoring's potential was explored further. The experimental X-31, a collaborative effort between the US and Germany, showcased the technology's capacity to execute maneuvers deemed impossible or perilous for conventional aircraft, thanks to sophisticated onboard computers. Drawing insights from projects like the X-31 and HARV, which modified an F-A-18 Hornet with thrust vectoring and four body strakes, the F-22 Raptor was conceived and developed. Capable of executing intricate maneuvers such as the Cobra and J-Turn, the F-22 evades incoming missiles from enemy defenses and fighters, leveraging its agility. Though encounters in high-risk scenarios are improbable for F-22 pilots due to its stealth capabilities, which have been honed through extensive prior experience in stealth design. Since the 1980s, Lockheed had been pioneering stealth technology with the F-117 Nighthawk platform. Initially, stealth was conceptualized around the premise that sharply angled panels could deflect radio waves, disrupting radar signals received by observers. However, stealth isn't a singular technology, but rather a composite of techniques aimed at significantly reducing detection distances. This encompasses minimizing radar cross-section while also addressing acoustic, thermal, and other signatures. By the late 1980s, advancements in radar-absorbing materials became accessible to U.S. defense contractors. This facilitated the design of stealth aircraft like the B-2 and later the F-22 with curved surfaces, enhancing aerodynamics. The primary objective is to shape the aircraft to prevent radar energy from reflecting directly back to its source. Consequently, the F-22 avoids right angles, which would bounce radar signals straight back. This design philosophy extends to weapon integration with armaments housed within the aircraft's internal weapons bay. These bays open momentarily for weapon deployment before swiftly closing, akin to the operational mechanism of the B-2 stealth bomber. If left untreated, the canopy of an aircraft could permit radar energy to penetrate into the cockpit potentially reflecting off internal components and back to radar systems. 
To counter this, the F-22's canopy is coated with a thin layer of indium tin oxide, imparting a golden hue while rendering it transparent to the pilot yet opaque to radar. Furthermore, the canopy shape is designed to deflect radar signals away from detection. Following this, the implementation of low observable LO coatings significantly contributes to the F-22's stealth capabilities. Upon returning to base, each aircraft undergoes a meticulous inspection lasting approximately 45 minutes to identify and address any damages to the stealth coating. Repairing the LO coating involves selecting panels, applying paint, sanding, and sealing gaps. Due to the maintenance intensive nature of radar absorber materials, their use is restricted to critical areas on the airframe. Unlike the B-2 stealth bomber, which necessitates climate controlled hangars for maintaining its stealth properties, the F-22 can be serviced in standard hangars. Nevertheless, around 50% of maintenance efforts on the F-22 pertain to repairing damaged LO stealth coatings incurred during routine maintenance procedures. Over the course of development and testing, leading to its official introduction in 2005, the Air Force significantly reduced its initial order from 750 to 195 aircraft. By the end of F-22 production in 2011, the total program cost was estimated at $67.3 billion, with a significant portion allocated to research and development and procurement. The cost for an additional F-22 was estimated at $138 million in 2009. However, the F-22 program faced setbacks when the Navy withdrew from purchasing any naval variants due to high procurement and operational costs. Hurricane Michael inflicted damage on a portion of the F-22 fleet at Tyndall Air Force Base in 2018, although these aircraft have since been repaired. Furthermore, due to the technological secrecy surrounding its systems and performance, the U.S. government prohibited the sale of the F-22 to foreign countries. Shortly after the completion of the F-22 program, the U.S. Department of Defense initiated the Joint Strike Fighter program, leading to the development of the F-35, which, while visually similar to the F-22, serves as a more versatile aircraft with less complexity in avionics and stealth capabilities, allowing for international export. Despite its unparalleled dominance, the F-22's reign is nearing its end, not due to rival aircraft like Russia's Su-57 or China's J-20, but because the United States is actively developing its successor under the Next Generation Air Dominance Program. Expected to be operational by 2030, this sixth generation air superiority platform will feature high integration with drone support and modern avionics, potentially challenging the F-22's legacy as the fastest, most maneuverable, and stealthiest aircraft of all time. Now, if you like this video, check out this next video right here. Yeah.